Oh shit, Morty! Local band Smokeout is about to start. Come smoke this shit. Oh jeez, Rick. Okay. Wait, how are we supposed to smoke without mouths? <sighs> You're asking the wrong questions, Morty. How are we even talking without mouths? Got it. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, right now we are joined by the one, the only. Be found, Todd. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> In the <laughs> building. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to, to party with us, to hang out, to talk about your music, how the band came about, and all of the above. Do me a quick favor. Properly introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Plug and promote anything and everything. What's up, man? I'm Zach. I'm the drummer. I'm from fucking Fort Worth, Texas. Pretty much. Born and raised. Hell yeah. I've only been in Texas a couple times, but it was, uh, it was a good time each time. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Isaiah, and um, I do vocals, and I'm down here in uh, Northport, Florida. Just moved here about six months ago. I guess we'll start there, actually. Oh, by the way, uh, Isaiah, this is, yeah. this is Luke over here. He runs Local Band Smoke in Australia. He's my co-host How's it today. Going, Sweet, man. Does it, did that complicate things as far as the band goes, being that you moved to Florida? I mean, no. yeah, it did, but it really, like, didn't just because, like, everything we do is so virtual anyway. So, I mean, it's, I mean, when we go to, like, actually play shows, I guess maybe it'll play a little bit of, like, a logistics issue. So you guys but haven't played any like, shows yet? No, no, we haven't done, dude, we haven't done anything. Like, this, this song, BTR, took us, like like a year and a half i think it was in the making did you have cj's vocal for that long and it was just a matter of getting it the proper mix and master to do it justice and get the numbers to pop off and everything go crazy it was a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah I mean, it was like just like yeah i mean it was just like um so like i guess like a little bit of a rundown of it was the song was written by Harry, who's in Immortal Disfigurement. And um, by, before, like, I knew Harry before he was even in that band. And we wrote the song. I had my vocals laid down. I actually went and recorded with CJ. Um, and when I got done doing that, there was just some structural changes to the actual song that we wanted to like amp up. And then we ended up like, you know, um, Blake Mullins, he ended up like helping with that transition. And then it was like just between all that stuff and then actually doing the music video, you know, it was just like everything just kind of had to line up and everyone's schedules and stuff. So I'd say like the instrumentals themselves were done within the first year. And then like, five months probably was like the mixing and mastering were you and zach in a previous project and then i'm gonna to toss it to luke after this question but uh were you guys in a previous project together or how did you link up and and help form be foul random random no, I, still uh, on that one. <laughs> yeah saw the internet random. man uh, i've been in a bunch yeah. of bands in dfw but um I just commented on a video and he responded and then we just started talking and then it just sort of formed into him asking me if I wanted to be the drummer and whatnot. So it sort of just fell into place, really. That is awesome. Hell yeah. This is the magic. The magic just sparked right away. Well, yeah, I mean, the the um, I was in the drag through the Inferno video. I was like the... Um, the the spot drummer or whatever you want to call it like the fill-in drummer for that and then he had commented on that video and then we just kind of like linked up through that pretty much okay luke uh nice. what yeah. questions do you have for the fellas so yeah um being that you guys uh like a remote 
projects like are, are there plans to meet up in the future for shows or like even even jams and stuff like that or is mostly a workflow online oh yeah we plan on doing it all man touring whatever like we don't we don't plan on playing like local shows we plan on probably booking some pretty big tours so like so, we're so a big a big tour could be stuff. the first the first gig that's what we're yeah. hoping very yeah yeah it's it's I mean, it obviously takes a lot of work to book a tour and, and everything but i've we got a lot of connections and i've been doing this my whole life and we've all been doing this our whole life so it's just it's still a matter of just putting me, it on together. i've only been doing i've only been doing this for like <laughs> like two years man i haven't i i haven't done this like really at all i mean i i played like music a lot in my life but i mean i took like 10 years off um so yeah why'd you, why'd you do that why'd you do that it's... why the 10 years oh i mean i was in the military and then when i got out i went to college it's a good reason get, so, get, get smarter yeah, i mean that it's was good literally reason. yeah i mean literally it was just nothing more than life you know it was like i couldn't do music after doing all this stuff and you know i just came back to it and then um i guess uh yeah like i met cj um in 2019 i believe it was it was like during covid and i uh got my hair cut from him and i was like yo you want to teach me vocals and he was like yeah and here we are dude is does anyone ever give you shit for for working with cj We've we've almost done an interview with him, and we got physically beat up by like comments about having him on the show. Does, really? does, does anyone ever give you guys trouble? I literally do not. Do the math. All. I mean, it, yeah. I mean, it's just to me, it's like you know, people like it's people just drama. don't know. Yeah, people just don't know. Like it's I'm not about drama, and you neither are we. You know, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know. The band has nothing to do with CJ. He just, he was just in the song because he helped, he helped a lot on this, so. Well, his parts, I mean, his parts, I mean, like, perf it's perfect for the song, and it, it's the, yeah. uh, who did the video? Because the, the way the video is done is so evil and nasty, like, I absolutely love it, and it looks like he's in, like, a shower, and he's just ready to destroy everything in there, or something. I don't know what's going on, but it, it it's, it's the perfect feature for the song. Um, but who, yeah, who did the video? Yeah, that's, uh, Joey. Joey, Joey Durango. He's, he's done all of, uh, Lorna Shore, Signs of Swarm, and he's that's, done. Does he work with Square Up? Uh, I'm not familiar with what that is, but. Okay, okay. It's a video company that I know that has done Lorna Shore stuff, but, uh, it kind of oh, resembles no, he, the look yeah, of it. Yeah, Joey's. Yeah, I was gonna say Joey just he he's I think he's just like his own like thing. Um he does his own thing, but uh yeah, he did our video. Yeah, he's worked on a ton of people's stuff, so he was definitely the guy for the job. And um it's just something about the way he does his videos, man. Like he's just to me, he's like the only the only right choice to go to. Well it came out fantastic. I'm gonna send it back to Luke, and then yeah. I and then I hope that you boys brought your hot sauce because we like to do some trivia on this show. But the cool thing is you get to pick the trivia. Yeah. Don't worry, you have the advantages in your corner. But uh, we'll get there in here a second. But uh, Luke, shoot off another one or two. <laughs> so I got a question for for Zach. You said you've uh, been doing this your whole life, played in a lot of bands before. What is your approach to this project that you've learned from all of that previous experience? Um. What's my approach? Uh, just going as authentic and as heavy as possible. Pretty much just stick to my roots and just play what I'm used to playing and write it as as good as much as as good as possible. You know, and just keep it heavy. You know, nice. Much yeah. Like Zach, do you listen to anything? I'll send it back to Luke. But a quick follow up: Do you listen to anything that would like kind of surprise us? That's not heavy. It's the complete opposite of heavy music. Oh man, I, I listen to everything. <laughs> you got, you got some like, Dua Lipa on the. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm just, I'm just talking. Oh yeah, yeah. My, uh, 
I go from symphony orchestra to Tejano music to to bluegrass to anywhere from Afghanistan music. I love Indian music like a lot, so like Tuvani throat singing, and I'm not basically just a drummer. I'm, I'm pretty much I listen to everything, so anything with just good music, pretty much. Cool. Nice. Can you like describe your journey? Um... It, it, in terms of being a drummer throughout the throughout the scene for many years and like playing through a bunch of projects yeah it's it's been a ride man it's um i've gone through the ropes and back i've played in i've, uh, I've played in a few bands that have had a few opportunities i've had a, a couple opportunities to open up for gore and i was playing for the guitar player for noisier he's a popular grind band from texas and it's just it takes a lot of work you know i've just been doing it for so long now i'm i pretty much just look at it as like i really just don't give a fuck about what happens i just want to write good music you know if that makes sense like i yeah, really don't care for sure it's for the, sure i think that's if, awesome. if, it, if the music goods and if the music sounds good and i can vibe with it i'm okay with it so Let's and uh, Isaiah, in terms of like learning vocals, so you, you've only been a vocalist for like two years. Like, um, how's that been a learning curve and going from like, I, I assume essentially somebody with no experience to releasing like such a fucking amazing song? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a journey. I mean, like a lot of the days that I'm even like just practicing now, I'm just like, how did I get to this point? You know? And, um, dude, it, it literally was like, I took the time to take professional lessons, spent the necessary, like you, you have to invest in proper training, especially if you don't know anything, it's just the easiest way. If you can, then I would highly recommend doing that. And it doesn't have to be with CJ. I mean, there's a bunch of other people, um, uh, you know, that teach vocals and then being patient with yourself and just recognizing that you're not going to sound like top tier off the bat. And it's like, I don't know, dude, it's just like, you just have to have like the realistic expectations. And I had those and I pushed through, you know, adversities when I thought like, you know, you would plateau. Cause for me, like vocally, I think I plateaued about every six months. It was like, I couldn't get above what I was doing at that point. And then, you know, you just kind of explore some different techniques. And now it's like, it's just, it's easy. So, um, yeah, definitely for the upcoming album, we like, there's going to be a lot of different stuff on that album that like, wasn't even explored in BTR. Hell yeah. Fuck awesome. yeah. Well, we look forward to that. Yeah. That sounds like it's going to be awesome. Let's, uh, let's do some fun ones, but it starts with the trivia. Did you bring the hot sauce, fellas? I got some. Yeah, let me I, grab I, I know Zach said he I, had a lot of sauce. So he, he had a, I got some sauce. I fucking... I'm going to go with the uh, the ghostly garlic. It's a ghost I pepper garlic just, hot sauce. Forgot it. Yeah, I forgot it. I'm going to get my favorites. So it's, it's That'll work. Tabasco, it's just Tabasco jalapeno hot sauce. It's my favorite show of this set. Uh, to do while Isaiah grabs his to do the trivia, I need to know if you if you guys could agree on either a movie or a TV show, something that you've seen so many times, a movie or a TV show. In my opinion, a movie is easier because a TV show might have seven seasons, twenty episodes a season. Um, but it's your call. No. Something I can look up that if I ask you trivia on this, there's no way I could stump you. Whether you get it right or wrong, I'm gonna enjoy the hot sauce. But oh, dude, there's, this is there's no gonna way you're about. not going to choose Lord of the Rings. I I'm swear, Zach, you better know Lord of the Rings. <laughs> is there a particular I'm Lord of the Rings movie? Um, honestly, dude, any of them. I'm going to lose this one, too. So. What well, would you, what would you have Star picked Wars? if you could have picked? Star Wars? Man, I didn't know it was going to be about, like, movies or anything. Honestly, I don't watch TV or, like, movies or anything. I'm, I literally don't watch TV and shit, so, like, I'm, like, so outdated on TV or anything. 
Fair, fair enough. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's music is life. I'm gonna no go. Time for TV. I'm just gonna go with Return of the King. But Luke, if you could ask another question, I need a second to look up something. Yeah, sweet. Um, so uh, just going back to the vocal training and everything like that. Had you tried to scream before? Like, I know you had a like ten year break from music, but were you like screaming when you were younger and um, like just trying it yourself? And is there a difference between what you had learned if you had? what you have learned since um yeah i mean it, i mean probably early on in high school um maybe i tried screaming because like i i was in some metal bands in high school i mean and it was like you just basically would scream like if you're shouting at like a a concert trying to get someone's attention and that's so bad for your voice so bad for your voice and um yeah, like, I would never, never do that. Like, even if it's, you know, in today, my everyday, like, I literally will try to baby my voice because I don't want to, like, overexert, over, you know, uh, project or something like that. So it's, you really have to take care of your voice. And I would never... Yeah try doing it again from like that that base standpoint like whenever i first like would try to try to scream well, yeah, same with <laughs> let's see if you really have seen lord of the rings as many times as you say uh, in return in return of the king can you tell me the name of the character who was almost burnt to death by his own father I know this one. Oh, the um, uh, I know. Damn. Wait, you said the um, the person who tried to do it? No, the the character uh, who was Jesus. almost burnt to death by his own father. Oh, Faramir. That is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> that is correct. So, me and Luke have to suffer with some hot sauce because we were not able to stump you. But uh, fellas, what while while we're suffering. Can you? What can you tell us that we can look forward to? I know you mentioned the album, but regarding 2024 or even possibly something that's coming out before the end of this year, I know a lot of the stuff is secretive, but is there anything that you can tell us that we can look forward to? Yeah, I'll be releasing a, a official drum playthrough within the next week or two. And we also got another bass playthrough for the song. As far as other songs, we're not releasing anything, obviously, until until further ado. <laughs> is that like release... is that like pending label interest and stuff? Is that is that for that reason? No, no, we're not really not interested in labels right now. We're just we just have to wait for the um the last song is almost finished, and then we already have the guy who we're going to be using to mix. Um, uh, the Nico, he's doing the Immortal Disfigurement stuff as well right now, and um, yeah, that's it. So <laughs> it's pretty much just that, like just waiting on those things. Like the instrumentals are done for the most part, and then um, I'll do my vocals after that's all laid out. Can you guys both walk through? I know you say you haven't played a show, but let's say a show is about to be played in the next 10, 15 minutes. Can you walk through, A, any form of vocal warm-up techniques you do? And, uh, Zach, maybe you have, uh, I don't know, a snare backstage that you just kind of roll on to get, get the get the flow going. Anything you do pre-warm-up, sometimes bands do the, hey, you know, all that dumb, dumb yeah. shit, whatever. <laughs> I'll drink a few beers. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely... <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, honestly, like, I've, I've like really focused a lot on like vocal health um and it's like the warm-ups dude are so important so i do um like the water with the straw do those things um i like to sing country songs actually because it kind of gets like the the voice like a little bit more gritty Interesting. um yeah, it's it's something I, I I had to do that, and then like I'll sing like some uh, classical music, like Josh Groban or something like that, where there's like a lot of like powerful projection to it, um, and then 
the throat singing, which I'm sure a lot of people have. I think Will Ramos talked about it. Um, I do essentially the same thing that he does with that. And then, yeah, and then yeah, just kind of like ease into the actual like false chord vocals or whatever. And then pretty much like once I'm done with that, then you kind of go into it. What about for yourself, Zach? Um, I just drink a few beers, <laughs> calm down. Cause I, I got I got pretty bad anxiety. You know, it's crazy. I can't get in front of people and and talk talk like in a crowd. I could never be a vocalist or talk in front of people. But you get me behind a drum kit, and I I've been there my whole life, so it just pretty much just comes natural. So like, I I practice so much when it comes to shows. I really I practice maybe like ten. 15 minutes max just to try and loosen up a little bit to see where I'm at, see if I'm comfortable with like blast beats. Cause I mean, blast beats are obviously the mm, not really technical, but physical. And I mean, it's, I'll pretty much just do that. I won't, I won't overdo it. Cause I don't, I don't want to overexert myself. Cause most of the, most of the songs, we're going to be releasing for this one. It won't be the fastest stuff that I've played, but it's, um, you know, it's, it's well above it's most, I think our slowest song is like two twenty, two thirty. So a lot Jeez. of them are two fifty, two sixty. <laughs> like we got a couple of them, 300. And so not it's just like, <laughs> it's not that fast. <laughs> Uh, three three hundred is like that's like my max point is like two sixty. So three hundred is is like it's tiring as as like crazy. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> so ice yeah, the knees does, after that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it hurts the knees, the ankles, and my hips <laughs> for sure. But I mean, it's, it's just I've done it for so long. It just comes natural. I feel. Well, I got one more trivia question, and I'm gonna send it to Luke, and then I'll I'll answer, I'll ask a, a final question or two. But uh, I I gotta stump you, bro. I got to. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King again. I feel confident in this one. The end of the movie. What is the name show. of the character that Sam marries? Rosie. Mother. That is correct. Yeah, yeah. I told you, man. Damn it, <laughs> Luke. We gotta, we gotta do more hot sauce again. I, I felt uh, confident. Zach in good spirits, <laughs> just doing it anyway. But uh, this one is ghost pepper <laughs> blueberry right here. Uh, Luke, final Ooh. question or two, whatever you have for him. Sounds good. So do we have like a, a kind of a time frame for when the album's going to be out? Um, how many tracks are on the album? Um, and what? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm stoned as fuck. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> um, as far as how many, yeah. I probably can't say, but there's enough. <laughs> so when? Maybe like, like summertime, is that... Is it safe to say by should summertime or fall? That, no, well, well earlier than that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It should be before then. I would. Yeah. I mean, I would say like as long as we can get the like the mix started on the instrumentals and then do the vocals. I mean, I don't really anticipate it being extremely long. So, I mean, I would say on the safe end, like February, March, probably album time. Oh, that's way earlier. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, dude. I mean, yeah. I mean, like I said, the album's pretty much already like written instrumentally. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. It's coming. And the guy who's mixing yes. it, he's uh, he's he's done um, ingested, and he's done several other bands. So like, he he did my drum, the audio for my drums too. So like, I've already got the mix back from that, and it uh, he's just phenomenal. He's he's really good. So. It's, it'll be exciting for him for us to to share it yeah. with from him, like him actually mixing it in a specific way for us. So That's it'll cool. be exciting. Yeah. Couple of fun yeah. final questions, and we'll let you gentlemen go. And we appreciate your time. Favorite munchy snack when it's a party night? It's a party night. Booze, ganja's been going around. You've been hitting the blunt. 
do some shots. But now it's munchy time. What you eating? Fritos and bean dip. (laughs) (laughs) Or some barbecue. (laughs) I can dig it. I'm from Texas, man. Um, I like barbecue. The regular Fritos? The originals? Any one of them. I like the chili cheese ones. I like the chili cheese ones. I'll eat the slightly salted ones. I don't care. All right. (laughs) I was gonna say, I guess it doesn't matter when you're high. No, I, I probably just eat some cheese or something like that. I like wine, so I just do like the little cheese, keep it, keep it proper. You said you the like you like wine. You, are you red wine or white wine? Yeah, red wine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, red me wine. and my wife are very, very big into wine. So I like the red wine. That's cool. Good. And that, I- is there anything that uh that that freaks you guys out? Do you have any phobias? Anything that scares you? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Sharks. I don't know what it is about it. Like, I literally could not watch a shark movie, and I swear, like, it'll give me the worst nightmares and the craziest phobias. Like, even being in, like, a dark room, like, it just creeps me out. Dude, I like, wouldn't, I wouldn't I, swim. I don't know what it is. I wouldn't swim in the deep end of my pool when I saw Jaws. When I was, exactly, like, when I was like, five dude, years old, I saw Jaws, the first one, yeah. and I wouldn't even swim in the deep end of my pool. It was I was freaked out. <laughs> Zach, I, I know you kind of said uh, anxiety for when when you're in front of a lot of people, but anything beyond that, like any critters or or heights or anything like that, that freaks you out. What anything that freaks me out? No, I'm not. I'm not. Oh shit, no, I have misophonia. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is? I'm not sure if you're familiar with that is, but I'm it's, not. it's like a irrational fear of noises like the main one being like um people like smacking their food or like chewing mm. gum or With their mouth and open and stuff yeah, yeah that shit will drive me insane <laughs> like it, it. It, it will make me jump across the fucking counter like no joke like i can't oh, help wow. it it's just it's just one of those things Stop that it. just it triggers off something in in the background that's just like it's very unsettling. <laughs> For sure. Well, gentlemen, uh, I mean, you guys are badass, man. Uh, I please come to California. Please somehow make it to Australia so Luke can catch the show. Also, when it's time, we yeah. Mo- I, was gonna say, I was gonna say, I'm sorry, man. So you're you're in what what part of California are you in? I'm in uh, Victorville, Southern California. So like an hour, okay, like cool. an hour and twenty outside of LA, hour and a half. Yeah, fuck okay, it, sweet man. man. <laughs> um, yeah, sweet. And then we're in Australia. Um, about Australia, yeah. I'm in Brisbane, Australia. Brisbane, which nice. is, is it's like one of the capital cities, uh, but in Queensland, where like probably a thousand kilometers north of Sydney. Um, I don't know how many miles that is. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite I a walk. Know. I can't do math, so yeah. It's quite a walk. <laughs> it's a walkabout. What time is it there? Uh, it's like uh, eleven thirty in the morning. Oh, on a Saturday. Oh, so you're in the yeah, future. Yeah, he's he's in the future right now. He he already knows the lottery numbers and everything for Friday night. Right. Yeah, man. Hey, it's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fellas, uh, you guys are awesome, man. I, I appreciate you being good sports, it, coming on the show. If it's okay with you, I'm going to throw this on YouTube, tag you in a bunch of stuff tomorrow, um, and I'll, I'll send you the link. Yeah, but but we, we wish you nothing but the best. This, uh, all three songs are amazing. I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I love the Anakin track. But uh, you guys are badass, man. Just just stay safe when, when it comes to going on the road. Please don't be strangers. Maybe when the album's ready, uh, March-ish. We can we can get you back on for a short follow up and help promote, but you guys are badass, man. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate you guys for having us on, man. It's an absolute pleasure. Okay, yeah, okay. keep yeah, killing it, guys. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, the album. Isaiah and Zach. I'll be found, Todd. Hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. Cheers, boys. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right, see you guys. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band, Smokeout.